Um, next question comes from Curtis on YouTube. Read a craft beer and brewing article. I love getting these questions in from people that are reading stuff. Hell yeah, man. I love when people are doing their research. Let's let's all get better. And I love when you ask me these questions because sometimes I have to go read something. So uh read a craft beer and brewing article recently uh, on Fidens. What? That was the same question somebody just asked me about, MP nerd. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Uh, and they like their beers to finish at 4.2 to 4.3. Uh, what is it usually like a half point drop over the course of fermentation? It can be more. It can be less. That can be, just to answer that real quickly, uh, you can get more uh, or less pH drop off of your yeast strain. Um, and that can be dependent on a wide range of factors. Um, oxygenation, yeast strain, um, nutrient, uh, probably pitch rate, stuff like that, if I didn't say pitch rate already. So continuing. So that would put the knockout pH at about 4.7 or 4.8, like you were saying. This is something I plan on messing with next batch, although I was planning on making the adjustment right after boil. I've got it in my notes from somewhere that our five barrel batch, about 25 mils should drop. Okay. So yeah, I, I run, run it by trial and error. That That's what you're suggesting. Absolutely. Um, but I don't, you, you can, you can chase it down that far, but again, you're going to want to be making sure that you're using the appropriate hop load that will actually push it down that far. And then some people do like it in that, in that little more acidic range. Uh, some people like it a little, a, a little higher. So again, I, I would titrate that one out, um, you know, and, and check it out and, and see what you like. But as far as timing goes, um, you can drop it in the kettle. I, I, I that that's what I've done, and I, and I've had no issue with it. Um, but I would expect more of a pH drop to come from from your yeast. I, I would expect uh, like maybe 0.8 to one uh, to one full pH point drop. So just something to look at. Maybe closer to 0.8. Um, but I, I would rather I I, I don't want to miss too low. I don't want to drop that pH too low and then next thing your beer is at four and then you're worried, trying to worrying about like food grade slaked lime and stuff like that. I don't, I don't want you messing with slaked lime. So uh, Curtis, uh, thanks for the question, brother. And hopefully that, that gets you where you need to be. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're going to maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.